Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey, and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we learned about the incident, which didn't really, really make any sense afterwards, near the end of it. And then we walked in on uh, Miko being comfortable in the morning. And now we are, uh, I guess, at school again, I think. Ah, we did. Miko didn't turn up at swimming practice today. Wait, why? She must have head straight home. Hiromi isn't here either. Wait, what? Just by myself? Just me? It's just me, swimming endlessly back and forth, all alone. I wonder if Miko is okay. Yeah, she was very... sad yesterday. And then, today she was mad. Usually when I dive in, I can forget about my worries. But now, I'm more worried than ever. Hopefully she'll turn up soon. Aww. The afternoon passes, and no one else turns up to swimming practice. Uh oh. Dark clouds begin to surge from the horizon. Damn it. Am I going to have to walk home in the rain? That's the worst. I hate walking home in the rain. Oh, and it's raining. As I stand out in the front of the school, I notice a familiar looking figure walking alone in the rain. Hiromi? Heda, why are you here so late? She isn't herself today. Oh no. What happened now? Something is wrong. Very wrong. Are you okay? I'm fine. Really, I'm just fine. She doesn't sound like it though. With the rain pelting down on her, she's going to catch a cold. Is it something to do with her family? I wonder. We need to get you somewhere warm. There's no way you can walk home in this. My apartment is closer than your house. We can head there. If you wish. She doesn't seem to really care though. Oh no, what happened now? Come on then. I lead her along by the hand through the suburbs. It takes a few minutes of running to make it to my apartment. Both of us are thoroughly soaked by the time we make it inside. It's unusually cold today. I can't stop myself from shivering. As I look back at Hiromi, she still has that sullen look on her face. Hmm. What is wrong, Hiromi? I hate the rain. Aww. Me too! The tone of her voice sounds extremely flat. It reminds me of certain things. She looks out the window as waves of cold droplets fall to the earth. Don't you hate the rain too? I do. I... I don't really hate the rain. She looks towards me with sad eyes. I envy you at times. You seem so unbothered by things. Miko scolds you and you shrug it off. You never worry about your studies. How do you do it? Do you just not feel anything? I feel things more than you think. I just push a lot of the bad ones aside. Then how do you hide it so well? Please, tell me, how do you do it? Why do you want to hide how you feel? Because I'm hurting. And I don't want Miko to see how badly I hurt. I'm supposed to be the reliable one. Aww. Gradually, she slumps down on the wall. I'm supposed to be the one who keeps her cool. Have you ever thought that friends depend on one another? We lean on each other, not just one person. Yeah, you can't just be the wall, Hiromi. You can lean on me if you need to. Absently, she turns to look at me. Do you really mean that? Of course I mean it. You're my friend. If you need help, 
I'll gladly give it to you. Then you should know more about what I'm dealing with. Oh. All right, here we go. I told you that I visited my mother. Hiromi struggles to say what comes next. She's in the hospital right now. It's cancer. Oh. That's, that's that's the worst. Cancer? Oh. It all makes sense now. She always looks so down every time she arrived late at training. So that's why she's always late. She's visiting her mother who has cancer. I mean, there's no cure for cancer, so it's like a ticking time bomb. The clock is just ticking down faster and faster. She has a tumor in her breast. <gasps> oh, breast cancer. They're preparing to conduct surgery, but they don't have high hopes for her recovery. Oh, it's not something you really want to hear, but you have to know. You can't just have high hopes for someone who can't recover from cancer. Whenever there's a rainy day, she just stares as it pelts against the window in her room. Seeing her face as she stares at the rain. I hate it. I hate the rain. I hate that it reminds me of her staring out of that window. Aww. She looks out at the balcony again. I visit her every day, but she looks that little bit worse every time I see her. She's withering away slowly. Oh. One day, when I go to the hospital, she'll no longer be there. Dad hasn't left her side for a single day either. He insists that I just try to keep living my life. But how can I do that when I know that my mother will be gone any day? And I probably won't be there to say goodbye. For a moment, I struggle to find a response. I... Uh, I'm sorry. She tackles me and wraps her arms around my chest. Please, just hold me for a moment. Please, I just want someone to hold me and tell me that everything is going to be fine. I know it's selfish. Please, I'm begging you. I wrap my arms around her and, told her and hold her tightly towards me. Everything is going to be fine, Hiromi. I swear that everything will be fine. That's not something you can swear, Kato. Thank you. I really needed to hear someone say that. She remains there in my arms, sobbing quietly into my shirt. I'm sorry, Ada. I don't want things to get strange between us. It's fine, Hiromi. If you ever need someone to give you a hand, I'll be here. You really mean that? No matter what happens, you'll be here for me? I will be. Thank you. She looks out beyond the balcony. I won't be able to leave for a while. Wringing her hair, great streams of water race down her chest onto the floor. Ah, I shouldn't have stood out in the rain like that. That was stupid of me, wasn't it? I don't know, you're thinking. Yeah, that's okay. All of the water. Well, why did our school uniform have to be white? It's... It's... I can see it. Both of them. So round and perky. Gah, why am I thinking like that? But... She looks really pretty right now. Ada, is something wrong? I don't understand why you're looking at me like that. Y y your clothes? What about my clothes? I I if you leave those wet clothes on, you're going to catch a cold. Wait, what? Well, I mean, that's true, but are you telling her to take her clothes off? That, that doesn't bother me. I... I really haven't been composed around you at all. Something about you, just... Just 
What? Nothing. When you joined the swimming club, I thought that you weren't going to show up. So many people just passed by and we never saw them again. Aww. I said I would stay, didn't I? I promised. What good is a person who doesn't keep their word? That's right. I don't like liars at all. If I didn't stay, your club would have been disbanded. So you stay out of the sense of duty? Well, that was because I, I mean, that's what I knew now, but not back then. Well, well, well that's not all. I like swimming, especially with you and Miko. Is, is that so? She wanders over to the balcony doors. Good. I wouldn't want you to stay simply because you felt like you had to. As she looks out towards the horizon, streaks of orange emerge from it. The sun is setting now. How can you see? It's like gray and cloudy outside. It looks like the clouds are breaking. They always do, Hiromi. No rain, no matter how miserable, always stops eventually. That is true. I can see a small smile forming on her face. Well, the rain is gone and my clothes are dry enough. They are? Why do you have that belt around your neck? So, I'm going to go home now. I will see you tomorrow, Keda. See you tomorrow. Widely, she takes her coat and wraps her around her wraps it around her shoulders. One last thing, Keda. Yes. Never forget your kindness. She leaves without another word as she slips through the front door. I hope that she will be okay. Wow, they so they both came to me when when they had problems. Uh, this this story this this one really got to me though. This guy, I just really imagine her mother just there, just dying, and she doesn't know when she's going to go and if she's ever going to see her before she dies. Not not see her when she's already dead, but you know, seeing her moments before she goes. Very sad. Death is sad, but it is life. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This episode if you guys did then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one goodbye